Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on An American Werewolf in London, The Ultimate Demon Collection. Uh, this is based on the four characters that you see in the dream sequence. Uh, when it comes to uh, David, as he first got bit, he goes into this dream sequence and he sees these things inside the cabin. I believe it's what it was. It's been a while since I've seen the movie, but anyway... Uh, it is one figure, but it does come with four separate heads, and we're going to touch base on this. Look at it and examine it, and, you know, check out the details of it. The box in itself is absolutely amazing. Now, I will tell you this about the box. It, it has, like, a three-dimensional design to it, almost holographic a little bit, or it's like a hologram, which I'm going to show you up close here. And then we're going to go ahead and take everything out of its package and look at the actual um, figure and stuff. So let me shut that off. Alright, now the hologram, as you can see right here. Pull back so you can see it. I don't know if you can actually see it re refracting, but it's very cool looking, okay? I'm definitely keeping the box, or you can actually pull this off. As you can see right here, I got my fingers in between it. And use it maybe as a backdrop or something. It is your choice. So I'm going to pull it in a little closer. So you can see, hopefully, it'll change for you. There you go, see? Alright. Same thing with that guy there. Alright. It's very unique. But I'm going to keep the box, because it's very cool looking. And here's the side of the box, as you can see. That's technically the main demon. But like I said, I haven't seen the movie in a while, so. We got something really cool, and that was like a werewolf. Okay. And here they are in the background here. And other scenes based on them. On all four of the characters, okay. And here's the other side of the box. As you can see, it's got different images. Alright. Shows all four different demons, okay. So, let's go ahead and open it up. And that's what that looks like. That is very cool looking. Alright. Sorry about the lighting here. Alright. You can see what it looks like. Very cool. Now, the box is probably going to have a glare to it. I apologize about that. But it is one figure with four separate heads and other accessories. We are definitely going to be touching base on that. Okay? And that's what that looks like. So, I will be right back. I'm going to pull everything out of its box. And then we're going to look at the figure. Okay, welcome back. It took a little bit of time to pull everything out of its boxes. But what I want to do eventually is show you the accessories when it comes to um, what comes in this package I got a little distracted there I'm sorry about that guys uh, but anyway I want to show you some of the accessories and then we'll get into the actual figure and show you the heads that come with the figure it's the ultimate um, demon package and I'm also going to show you my Kessler's Wolf I just got that sometime maybe about four or five days ago and I found this one here at Walmart so I don't have to order it online, so it's, it's always cheaper to pick it up at the store because you don't have to technically, you know, um, charge for uh, shipping and handling. That's when things get a little pricey when you go online and get stuff. But, you know, unfortunately, if you want something, 99% of the times they don't sell this kind of stuff in stores, so you have to get it online. But anyway, long story short, let's get into the accessories here. Let's start off with this guy right here. This is the flame that you see, I believe, him or one of the characters actually carrying it within the gene, gene, within the dream sequence that David Kessler goes through as he's becoming a werewolf. He's, he's in transition. <laughs> Alright, this is the actual flame. Okay. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That's what that looks like. Put that down, and we're going to get into the guns, the machine guns. There's a couple of them here. Now, I don't know the names per se of these things, so bear with me on that, okay? Alright, that's what that looks like. And here is yet another machine gun, which has a strap I guess each one of the demons carry a different gun or machine gun in this case 
And that's what it looks like the strap. It's not a real strap, but it's made of plastic. But you get the idea of what it looks like. Now, this is the biggest one. It's almost like a machine gun. I'm going to show you the uh, muzzle on this thing. So it's kind of like a machine gun, old school one. Like I said, I'm not totally familiar military wise on what these things are. Some people can just pick them out and say, oh, that's a blah, 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 blah. I couldn't tell you that, so. <laughs> so they're into big time into military type stuff. And there are some people out there that are really good about that. Me, not so much. All right, now this guy right here is a knife. Okay, he's got the same exact knife except that's the bloody variant version. You'll see blood on the blade. Okay, hang on, let me get that in there. The shadowing is messing it up here. Hang on, guys. Let me turn the light here. So we don't mess it up too much. Alright, now let's give that a shot again. Well, that's a little bit better. Somewhat. I mean, the shadow is kind of killing it. All right, let's get into the hands. There's different hands for this figure. As you can see, they are a little bit bigger. Wait a minute, let me see what I can do here. This is not exactly bright enough. Bear with me on this, guys. All right, now let's try this out. That's a little bit better, but like I said, the shadow is getting in the way, so I apologize about that. All right, there we go. Try that out. Okay. The other hand is exactly the same way. As you can see, it's big in circumference. So you can put this fire stick. Fire stick! through it. Just got to play around with it a little bit. Hang on. There we go. As you can get an idea. Okay, now if you switch out the hands you can have them holding the fire. Alright, now we're going to get into the heads. Okay. And that's what that looks like. It's kind of hard to turn it. It's too bright. Now there is no articulation in the head. But it looks like it would, you know what I'm saying? From the looks of it. Alright, so... The next one would be this guy here. He's kind of like, almost like a Dr. Jekyll. Jekyll. <laughs> Dr. Jekyll. He's got a very nice hairstyle. <laughs> this is the guy I'm going to be switching out the head on. <clears throat> Simply because it's a werewolf. Alright, that's the uh, last of the accessories that comes with this. As you can see, it's got quite a bit. I'm going to end up putting these in a bag, just like I do with the other figures. Now, this figure here, as you can see, don't have a neck of stand because... As I buy the uh, figures, I always put them on a stand, including my uh, Terra Toonies, Toonie Terrors. Sorry about that. Uh, so I end up running out of them, so I'm going to have to eventually go back to the store and get uh, some more NECA stands. But anyway, let's take a look at this particular figure. Okay, so now let me push that back. Alright, now, let you see the other head here. This one's really cool looking too. 
he's probably the most popular one of the bunch. Now the helmet, I will tell you this, it does come off, but I won't I won't take it off so. But as you can see, it was kind of moving a little bit. As you can see, it's kind of loose. Alright. The head does move just like most NECA figures, okay? The helmet, not not the head, but the helmet. Okay, so I'm going to let you take a look at the suit. It's a military, old school, World War II, World War II. I can't talk right today, I'm sorry. Okay. Almost German-like. Alright, Blitzkrieg. Well, that's what she looks like. Articulation wise, it does bend at the elbows, as you can see, and at the shoulders. You can move it up. Okay. Same with the other arm. Okay. Alright, the torso in itself doesn't really move, but the legs do move. Alright. As you can see, it's almost like a doll. It's got a pivot, like a ball joint, so you can move around. So it's not a problem. It's very articulated. Now how many points of articulation? I didn't look it up. I apologize about that. Now the hand. Again, as you can see, they are the smaller hands. So you can fit the, uh, the rifles and stuff into it. But I'm just going to leave the knife on this one here. Okay. Or this machine gun here. All right. We'll put him in like so. Well, you get the idea. But anyway, long story short, this is the actual demon figure from an American werewolf in London. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the head off of this, switch it out with the wolf one. See what she looks like here. Okay, that won't go on. For some odd reason, it doesn't want to fit on there. Oh, there we go. We got it. Okay, that's what she looks like. Okay. No, it didn't come on. Hang on. I think I had it going on there. Alright, there we go. There it is, guys. Put the hand out of the way. It's almost like the Planet of the Apes here. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, that's that particular figure. Now, it's pretty good about standing up on its own. If you can get it just right. that's pretty much it there now I want to show you my Kessler's wolf if you haven't already seen the video for it here we go guys now this particular guy here does come with two separate heads and it also has a separate collar behind here giving it that nice hairy mane look almost like a lion's look but this guy is badass looking is that cool or what all right, that's, that's the back, okay. It's got these long legs, and it is a quadruped. It's not a typical werewolf or wolfman that actually stands up on two legs. This guy does not do that, okay. But anyway, that is my Kessler's wolf. Again, it does come with another head, okay. That is very cool looking. So now I got the complete set of the American Werewolf in London based on the NECA figures. Okay, and that's so far what we have, unless you know they decide to do something else. 
but anyway, that's my Kessler's Wolf along with the demons from the uh, the dream sequence that David Kessler goes through. Okay, so that's it, guys. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? Okay, um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And I did, like I said, I just found this at Walmart, so I saved myself a little bit of money based on that. And I hope you like the box. The box is very cool. And the demon, the demons in themselves, you can switch out the heads. There's three other heads, okay? You got these three here, okay? So you got your choice of switching out the demons and stuff. And obviously, it's got a bunch of accessories, too. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys at the next video.